Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cat here, and I'm gonna be uh, teaching you guys how to uh, make a uh, death run server on your home computer. So, first of all, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to computer, uh, your OS drive. You're gonna go to program files, Activision, and you're gonna go to COD4. And you're gonna want to copy this folder. And once it copy, you're gonna want to copy it. And then go back here, and then you're gonna want to paste it in here. I already pasted it, and it's and I labeled it COD4. Don't keep it labeled as Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare because it glitches when you when in, in a later step, which I'll, I'll explain later. But so you open your COD. So now that you, basically this is your server folder here. The COD4 folder is your server folder. And basically after that, what you're gonna want to do is go and you're gonna want to download the mod from the Braxy's website. You're gonna want to go to discussion. Braxy, Braxi, I've heard people call it Braxi, I call it Braxi, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't really want to get that wrong anymore, but, um, so you're going to go to the Death Run Mod 1.1 full version, you're going to want to download the, uh, the full mod, the hotfix, and the unlimited lives glitch, if you want to fix that, I mean, basically un unlimited lives glitch, there, there, there used to be a glitch in, in, it's in another form, that when you got an extra life, you would just be able to click the your escape button and auto assign and it just re and it you would uh respawn without using your life. So if you want that it can get a big problem to be able to sit in the middle of your map with in, in the middle of the game without doing anything. So that's why ninety nine percent of the servers do have this and I strongly recommend getting that. So you're gonna want to download all three of them. I have them downloaded already. I'm pretty sure. Let me check my uh downloads folder for in a sec. Uh Yes, I have a lot of downloads. Don't judge me. Um, I should have it here somewhere. Uh, okay, maybe I don't have it. So... Okay, so then once you're... Wait, oh wait, oh there's zip files. Okay, never mind. Wait, no, but that's zip. Oh, hold on. I feel like I could be really stupid if it's not. Hold on. Wait. Okay, yeah, I don't have it. Definitely not. Okay, so you're gonna want to download. Um. Yes. I go to that, and then you're gonna download this too. It'll take a while to download, but once I'm done downloading. Well, actually, I shouldn't take too far. Yes. There. Oh, never mind. Cancel that. So you have the full, the hotfix, and the IWD. This is the same as that, just a separate one. So, I, I just like to take them out of my downloads folder. It's just something I like to do. So, I'm going to go down here. I'm gonna come over here because you're gonna want to drag them to your desktop just for the start. And okay, come on, where are they? Okay, so here you're gonna go download. Click. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to click on it. You want to go to full. Uh, take over the hotfix too, and you're gonna want to also find the lives fix, which is where. Hold on. I'm sorry guys, I'm being really slow. Uh, I feel retarded. Because I could have just done this from the start. There. God, wow, I feel retarded. Oh, it's an IWD, not a zip file. Gosh darn it. I was thinking because I haven't opened it with, with Lumar. So, your server's here on the right, you open the COD4. Basically your server, you're going to go to mods. And right click, new new folder and you're gonna name it your death run um, you can change that to whatever you want and make sure it's lowercase because the mods gonna recognize it as lowercase anyways you can make it capitalized but it won't nobody's gonna realize it so that's why people use the underscores the spaces so you're gonna open up your death run and then you're gonna open the the full the braxy death run 1.1 full dot zip and no, I'm not going to buy WinRAR. Probably will eventually. But so plugins, you're going to want to just copy this whole the whole thing in here into your mods folder. 
and now that's done and the hotfix the hotfix I can't you need the hotfix and you just copy and drag the mod.ff file and you move and replace it that's basically all it is and you have the hotfix and that oh crap why did I do that I don't want the live fix two I want the live fix one uh, oh gosh hold on one sec Yeah, because it won't work if you put in the number two, because it needs to have the right name. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm not going to test it. Okay, whatever. I just won't delete it then. So you want to move that in there, and boom. You basically have your server now. Um, but not not quite yet. What you're going to need to do is you're going to want to go into your CMD, and you're going to want to type in ipconfig, and you'll get all of this crap all this stuff up here but the only thing you're concerned in is you want to go to your default gateway or your and and that's where you want to go to your internet browser and type that into your internet browser and you're going to need the 192.168.2.11 that's the internal port you're going to use to forward your ports you need to forward your ports there are, there are other tutorials on forwarding your ports I'm not going to go into detail but um you basically go to 192.168.2.1 or whatever your default gateway is to um you're gonna want to do that for um, crap. Uh, that's how you, that's how you open your your router, and then you gotta go into your router router and find your firewall or virtual servers or whatever it's called in there. And you wanna forward your port, and you want to forward your port to the IPv4 address, which is 192.168.1.2.11 in my case. So you can go ahead and after you forward your ports, you can do that, and you can basically edit all your plugins here I mean you can change your name to just leave it at that death run server you can change you definitely want to change your archon password to something that you want uh, max clients change it you can change all this and SG game type S set G game type to death run you cannot change that at all whatsoever otherwise the game will not work um, any new maps that you have, you want to make sure you download them, put them in your, not this folder, but you want to put them in your user maps folder down here. And see, I all have all of these. Probably should have more, but I haven't downloaded the recent ones. Um, so, and then you want to add them to this, uh, this uh, DVAR right here. I think that's what it's called. Um, Death Run Mod Configuration, so basically it just execs these two other ones. So you can just file, save that, and then X out of it. Go back into the server folder. Uh, mods, your death run, that's where I saved it. Um, and you can edit the other two config files. Um, I mean, it's basically, oh, set this to 1. Set that to 1. That drove me crazy for like a week or so, trying to figure out why my plugins wouldn't work. Um, change all this to whatever custom. Okay, this is pretty self-explanatory, but a lot of people seem to have problems with it. So you just go set dr. You can delete the one on top of it, but um, I'll keep it there because this isn't my actual server. So you go quotation marks, the last eight digits of your GUID. Just for example, this is just a random one. Uh, that's seven digits, and then one is an eight. Okay, and so then you do that, and then you go your but it doesn't really matter what name you put in here but that's just what it shows up as in the admin menu when you open your admin menu in death run 1.1 so you can just type in your name or something but you don't need you don't really need to have these things you can just make it your name and then you want to have your permissions and each permission each permission here a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o and x all have their own different things in the admin control panel so if you want to have complete access, you just do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, X. <laughs> um, not the question mark, quotation mark. And you can just save that. Um, you want to change this from 2361 to just something, just four random digits, because you don't want it to have the same. Because if they have the same, then that can become a problem if you have the same number as a different server. Um, you can just... It's all editing here. It's it's basically it's not a true false. It's a one and zero. One means it's true. Zero means it's false. So one is on. Zero is off. 
um, 